I'm at Huntington Beach State Park in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Behind me is the castle of Archer and Anna Huntington. We're going to take a tour. So come on, let's go. Okay, let's visit Atalaya Castle in Huntington Beach State Park in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Huntington Beach State Park was originally the property of Archer Huntington and Anna Hyatt Huntington. It was leased after Archer's death and takes its name from him. The 2,500-acre track was leased to the state in 1960 for use as a state park. Archer died in 1955 and Anna died in 1973. Archer was an American industrialist, philanthropist, and scholar. Anna was an American sculptor who was one of New York City's most prominent sculptors in the early 20th century. Their winter home was Adelaide Castle, located in present-day Huntington Beach State Park. Adelaide's location was chosen as a mild winter retreat from New York City for the health of Anna Huntington, who suffered from tuberculosis in her mid-20s and 30s. 200 by 200 foot masonry castle was built from 1931 to 1933 without any drawn up plans. Archer designed the residence based on his memory of the 12th century Atalaya Castle in the south of Spain. He used local labor to provide work for the community hard hit by the Great Depression. Part of the Atalaya compound was a studio for Anna, who was a well known 20th century American sculptor. Many of her significant sculptures are located in Brook Green Gardens right across Route 17 from the State Park. The living quarters consist of 30 rooms around three sides of the perimeter, while the studio opens up into a small enclosed courtyard where Anna worked on her sculptures. Pens for the animal models, including horses, dogs, and bears, are situated adjacent to the studio. The Huntingtons last used Adelaide as their winter home in 1947. Most of the furnishings were sent to New York City after Archer's death. The studio equipment was moved to the studio at Brook Green Gardens. Adelaide was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1984 with Brook Green Gardens. They are both National Historic Landmarks. Land Across the street, from Huntington Beach State Park is the Brook Green Gardens. It's a public sculpture garden, zoo, and historical plantations made up from the original 6,600 acres and four former rice plantations, Laurel Hill, Springfield, Oaks, and Brook Green Plantations. Okay, enjoy the rest of the tour.
And there it is. That's the tour of Adelaide Castle. Underneath the Beach State Park, Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. If you are staying in or around the Grand Strand area in South Carolina, it would be worth a visit to see Adelaide, Huntington Beach State Park, and Brook Green Gardens. There's a fee to enter the park, also a $2 donation to tour the castle. There's a separate fee for entry into Brook Green Gardens. All, in my opinion, are well worth the entry fees. Brook Green is also home to a new red wolf exhibit where you can see these endangered wolves up close. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next video.